Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. You know what, I was going to do this live, but considering how many times it's taken me to do the introduction, I'm really glad that I didn't go live. But anyway, I'm having loads of problems with laptop and things like that, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this out with everybody else's videos. Uh, that's a really clunky introduction, but welcome to my top 20 of 2020 which is a huge collaboration video. It's my favourite video of the year to film and it's also my favourite video to watch everybody else's videos. It's become a bit of a tradition to binge watch everybody else's videos. So check them out down below. All the links will be below. Wow, it's definitely been one heck of a year and what we're going to do is cheer us, forget about that for a while and just cheer ourselves up completely with some pretty bottles of pain. So all of my top 20s are indies actually apart from one and uh, I've only really included it because it was, a, it was a lemming that I managed to capture. All of the polishes in this video are new to me or new that I've worn this year. Um, the new to me polishes are either gifted from lovely nailies in the community or rainbow connection holes and later on in the year you'll see that I've got some polish pickup polishes that started to sneak in in the last sort of two three months of the year so anyway let's make a start I'm going to go through the year with my favorites from January up to December I'm not doing a countdown but I will tell you what my favorite nail polish of 2020 was at the end of this video so January was actually a really good nail polish month for me. It was lots of sparkles and flakies and it started off with Princess Nail Lacquer Ballerina Sparkles. And this is a beautiful sparkly nude. And I was absolutely delighted that Princess Nail Lacquer was back. So Ashley, welcome back. Um, I know she disappeared a little bit for at some point in the year, but then came back again. She's definitely up and running and she's got a sale on at the moment on her website, actually. I can't resist a sparkly nude and this one definitely did not disappoint. So that's Princess Nail Lacquer Ballerina Sparkles. And next up is a polish for days and you'll actually see a few of these. I think I've got about five of them. So they, it's a brand that definitely dominates this video. This is such a beautiful Pacific blue type of blue. And look at those flakes. I was just, I could just carry this around and stare at it all day. This is Actea. This is definitely my favourite Instagram picture this year. I'll put a close up as well of these beautiful gold pink flakies. Absolutely beautiful. This is Actea from Polish for Days. And next up is Painted Polish, and this is such a beautiful green. It's really quite unusual. It's it's kind of like, um, it's not quite a camo green. It's, it's slightly brighter than a sort of army green. And this one is called Shamrock and Roll. I picked this up from Rainbow Connection, and it's just the beautiful, unusual green, again, with those multi-chrome flakies. So I absolutely loved wearing this one. That's Painted Polish shamrock and roll another polish for days and this is yet again I, I seem to have fallen for this pink to gold chrome flaky it's just the glow that it gives I don't know if you can see that coming off the bottle there but it it really does glow and and the, with this being a nude and neutral as well at the beginning of the year I just absolutely completely fell in love with this polish this is vanilla chai from Polish for Days. I'm going to move on to February. Um, I've actually got quite a few Crellies in this video, probably about five or six, which again is quite unusual for me if anyone's been with me for a while. I used to struggle with Crellies, um, but I'd, I'm really into them at the moment. This one is Peach Chew, which is from the Seasonally Inappropriate Trio. So it was a kind of winter collection but uh, a very spring vibe um, I absolutely love this one it's um, it's quite a neutral pale pinky peach and it's just got these amazing sort of navy blue chrome flakies um, I, it was actually uh, this one was sent to me by Kat because I named this polish 
she was running a, a competition on Instagram for uh, name the the polishes in this trio. Um, so I was really lucky to get this one, and I I ended up getting the whole trio actually, but this was my favourite from from the three. This is the, this is the beautiful Peachy Chew from Arda's Nails. And another polish in February. This is the amazing. Uh, now I think this is actually called June June Pierre. Uh, I don't know what that means. I thought it was a misspelling of Juniper which I don't think it is, but it is an absolutely amazing, beautiful, shifty polish with, again, that fantastic pink gold flash. That's June Pier from Polish for Days. So those six polishes were pre-pandemic, and this polish is my only mainstream. It is the beautiful Lotus Begin, and this is a polish that I've kind of lusted after for quite a while it's a strange one because the version that I've got is quite a pale dusty lavender other versions that you may have seen or that you might have in your collection could be a brighter lilac shade but I do actually quite like this one I picked this up from nail polish direct and on Instagram it made me laugh because the picture I posted the picture of this on March the 23rd which is when lockdown was announced in the UK um, so this is my kind of pandemic lemming polish. But I absolutely love it. This is China Glaze Lotus Begin. This polish was sent to me by the wonderful Jennifer up in Scotland. And I wasn't sure I was going to like this just because it is so sparkly and girly and it looked quite pink to me in the bottle. It is quite pink, but it's more of a neutral pink. I need to stop trying. I need to stop convincing myself that I don't like pink because clearly I do. This was such a beautiful polish and it's an, an amazing finish that you look at this and think that it's going to be really textured and it's just so beautifully smooth. This is the amazing You Can Fly from Glam Polish sent to me by Jennifer. Thank you again, Jennifer. It's amazing. I love it. July was quite a, an active nail polish month for me. Um, it was just before I moved house, actually, and I've got three indie polishes here. The first one is Gloria, and this reminds me of Kat so much, Mrs. Cronall. Um, Kat's been doing a lot of writing this year, and she's been involved in the theatre. I really missed seeing her. I was supposed to go over in March. I was supposed to fly over to Zurich in March, but obviously I wasn't able to do that. Um, and I, I didn't manage to wear this polish last year. It was the very towards the end of the year of the 12 months of charity polishes for breast cancer awareness um, and I wasn't too sure looking at it in the bottle whether I would like this but it just looks amazing on the nails and I love the swatch picture so this is the beautiful Gloria which really reminds me of Kat and it's from Arda's Nails Tonic Polish is another polish that I had for quite a while that I didn't wear for ages because I thought oh, it's just going to be too pink. I don't know why I'm resisting pink because I obviously really like it. This was sent to me from Anna over in Germany and it's just a beautifully bright pink holographic. The holographic is fantastic in this. It's an Oops polish, Oops 53 and I just absolutely loved wearing this. Thanks Anna. And Anna also sent me this amazing Cirque polish. This is called High Society and it was actually, I believe, from an exclusive limited edition. It's just so unusual. It's not quite, it's kind of in between a bright and a neon green, but this beautiful gold flash. And it's also got some sparkles in there as well. It's absolutely amazing on the nails, completely clashes with my skin tone. A little bit like the polish that I'm wearing today, which is Light of Lyra from Tonic Polish. Let me just show you this because I don't know if anybody's having the same problem. Formula seems to be getting quite thick and gloopy, so I'm going to have to thin this one. Um, I still really enjoy wearing it and I love that beautiful blue flash. But um, this has got a fantastic gold flash and I absolutely loved wearing this one. So that's High Society from Cirque Colours. Thanks, Anna. Then we move into September. I've got a couple of polishes that I wore in September. 
This one here on the left is just another fantastic Crelly. This is the 90s from Rainbow Connection. And this one here is Polish for Days, Pluto. I thought it was Pluto, but it's not, it's Pluto. Picked both of these up in a Rainbow Connection haul and they were absolutely amazing, fantastic flakies in this beautiful, similar sort of Barney purple. Um, and this one here was a polish that I actually, I got this because um, I saw it on Instagram and I also knew that Polish Pony was getting this or she'd got it already. So we did um, a twin nail. It's just amazing. Neon and black and white glitters, but absolutely amazing. That's the 90s from Enchanted Polish and Polish for Days Ploto. In October, I got um, a little package that was sent to me by Kat from Arda's Nails. She sent me a, a moving in present and she sent me some fantastic cream polishes. But she also sent me this one here, Jawbreaker from Polish Con. Now, this year was supposed to be the year that all the UK nail polish people were meeting up in Birmingham for a, a polish nail polish convention. And we were all really looking forward to it. It was obviously cancelled because of COVID. Um, and because I was moving in the summer, I just completely forgot that they, they were actually organising an online shop. So I missed this one and I saw it all over Instagram and I thought, no, why didn't I get this? Um, jawbreaker. But Kat amazingly managed to keep a bottle of this for me and send it to me. So Kat, thanks again. This is the amazing jawbreaker I absolutely love. Wearing this polish, it, with such a miserable year, this was a real bright spark for me, getting this polish. So thank you so much, Kat. That's Jawbreaker from Arda's Nails. I remember seeing I remember seeing this on Instagram. I think it was Nika's page or what from one of the... She's got the whole collection. And when I saw this on the Polish Pickup website, I thought, oh, God, I def definitely need to have this. I wonder if you really will be able to see these white glitters and you can. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, the, the, I completely fell down the polish pickup rabbit hole this with this for, just with this first polish pickup haul and this was part of it. I absolutely love this. Emily de Molly and this is Death Stairs. I know I was a bit late for Halloween on this on this one, but this was a November polish. Um, I picked this up from Rainbow Connection. I've wanted this for such a long time and I really, really enjoyed wearing it. It's Jack-O-Lantern Juice from Nine Zero Lacquer. And it's the those shredded, um, it's those shredded black glitters that really do just look like a like disassembled Jack-O-Lantern. It was really, I've got lots of compliments wearing this and I really enjoyed it. So that's Nine Zero Lacquer Jack-O-Lantern Juice. This polish I had to include because it's so unlike me. Just this is such a bright girly pink. It's uh, I wasn't too sure about this in the bottle, but on the nail it was absolutely amazing. It's got it's a very it's got slightly corally pink, but I just don't know whether it's because of the amount of um, pinky gold glitter in here. It was insane the glow, and I just could not stop staring at my nails. This is Aki from Polish for Days. And then another polish that I picked up in November that I could not believe that I saw this actually on Rainbow Connection. There must have been some sort of restock, but this is a polish that I've wanted for ages. It's Tonic's Dragon Tears. And um, I remember being in boots with Lisa Hendy and looking at um, Barry M Celestial Silver and her saying to me that she felt it was similar to Dragon Tears from Tonic. I have done a, a kind of dupe comparison and they are similar. Um, I, I think Lisa's also done a dupe on her channel, a comparison with those two polishes. It is similar, but it's, it's, it is slightly different. I think this has got more of a blue green, whereas the Celestial Silver is, is, um, is just more of a, of a blue. It is just this is slightly more complex. It's a fantastic multi chrome, and I'm just so pleased to have this in my collection. That's uh, Tonic Polish Dragon Tears. 
and then finally two polishes towards the end of the year in December so I've worn these quite recently again from Polish Pickup this one is Quizotic Polish and it's I'm Here and wow this is just an amazing metallic glowy again those pink to gold crushed flakes just give that beautiful beautiful glow it jumps off the nails the flash it's all been about the pink and gold flash or flakes this year so from polish pickup that's quizotic polish i'm here and then finally this ethereal polish which i picked this up because i thought it might be similar to pearl jamming but it's not it's it's not as blue as pearl jamming and the flash is definitely uh, stronger in this one this is heavenly from ethereal it it looks like the inside of a magical shell <laughs> and i think i wore this for about 5 days and i was amazed that there was absolutely no tip wear so this is ethereal heavenly God, it really is heavenly and it's from polish pickup so those are my 20 polishes top nail polishes of 2020 is such an unusual year and this, I think, has got to be my favourite. I, I just gasp every time I see the flakes in this polish. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was my favourite swatch picture of the year as well. So definitely Actea from Polish for Days. Again, a brand. I did watch my favourites from 2019. And I remember talking in that video about Polish for Days and how it was a new brand that I was hoping to get much more of. I have been this year, so that was something that I uh, was true to my word and definitely picked up more Polish for Days. I can see me picking up more as well. I just absolutely love this brand. So that's the end of my 2020 video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite polishes have been. Don't forget to check out everybody's videos down below. Have a fantastic new year and I will see you all soon. Bye.